All right, now there are tons of hidden features on Samsung Galaxy phones, which we have explored on the channel together. And among those hidden features, we get to see labs everywhere on the device. We've got labs on photo editor, we've got labs on Wi-Fi connectivity, calendar labs, expert raw labs, gallery labs, and so on. And there is one hidden labs option which made its way on One UI 7 and actually disappeared on One UI 8.0 recently. And that labs option is within My Files application. After getting the One UI 8 update, I did try enabling the labs on My Files, but I wasn't able to activate it by just tapping on the version number. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. Let's first go to the Files application. And here on Files, you can see when I swipe down, we have got Recycle Bin and Manage Storage option. Now here, we can tap on the three dot button and tap on Settings. Now on Settings, we can see my files labs right over here. Now this is a hidden feature and I have just enabled it and I'll tell you how you can enable it on One UI 8. Let me tap on about my files lab. Now here, if we tap on version number, like we usually do for enabling labs, is not working on One UI 8.0 on the my files application. Let me show you this. Let me tap on version number multiple times. You see, it doesn't work at all. So what you need to do is, you need to keep tapping on my files over here. And that would not be enough. Let me show you this. I keep tapping on my files multiple times. You see it says enable my files labs. Now if you go back, you may not be able to see my files labs or you may be able to see if you're able to see it, it's well and good. If you don't see my files lab, let me tell you what you need to do. Go to about my files, keep tapping on my files labs here. And now as soon as you see this, just tap on that my files, enable my files labs option. So that's a tiny pop-up that you see. So you'll have to tap on that tiny pop-up to enable my files lab. You will see this open source license. We have not seen this kind of a notification when we enable labs anywhere on the device. But this time you can see this open source license. And then when you go back and go to the settings, you will be able to see my files lab sitting right there at the bottom. Let me tell you this again. What you need to do is tap on about my files on settings menu and don't tap on the version number. Keep tapping on my files here. As soon as you see a small pop-up here, which says enable my files, just tap on that option. Now you will see open source licenses and automatically my files labs will be enabled. Now let's check out what is there in my files labs. Now this my files labs has changed on the files application. Last year we had more options under this labs option. Let me tap on this. You can see I have got a very few options available right over here. I've got permanently delete option. It will show the permanently delete option in the deleting dialog. And then we have got reorganize folders. This will tidy up the folder that has over 100 items. It will reduce the time of finding file. So these two are very useful feature which can be enabled. Now let me just enable permanent delete option. Now let's say I want to delete a specific file here. Let me select this file and let's say I want to delete this. Here you can see on this pop-up, it is giving me an option to permanently delete this file. I can just select that and move to recycle bin. It gets deleted permanently. Otherwise, you will have to follow two steps. Once you delete the file, go to recycle bin and then delete the files from recycle bin. That will delete the file permanently. But instead, with this My Files Lab feature, you can get an option to permanently delete a file right over here on the pop-up. So that's a very useful feature that we have. And second feature, of course, is going to organize your folders. So you can enable this if you want. And then we have got enable the default viewer option. Let me tap on this. We have got local storage and network storage. We have got two options for the default viewer. You can enable them if you want. And then we have got developer options. Let me tap on developer options. Under developer options, we have got data history and file operation history. Now here data history, to use this, you need to grant the usage data access permission. This allows us to make a report which apps are occupying the storage much. Now let me tap on this data history. You can see we have got this all new menu which shows the analysis here. We have got the day wise breakup here. We have got two bars here on Thursday and Friday. I had uh, copied and uh, pasted some files and probably deleted some files over here. You can see uh, these are the categories here and it is a pie chart with all this data. You can see here uh, different colors are depicted for different categories. We've got images, videos. This entire area is video. I had transferred the videos almost about 5.43 GB. Then we've got audio files, documents, installation files, compressed files, etc. So that's how the data is shown right here. You can select applications here to see which applications you have used uh, on the device. Prime video about 4.79 GB of storage. Battlegrounds India, 4.65 GB of storage. Asphalt has consumed 4.15 GB of storage. So this will give you a detailed uh, storage consumption on your device 
as far as the larger files are concerned. Now all this you can see it's in GBs, 3, 2, 4 GB, 4.6 GB. So these are all larger files which are occupying the storage and it is showing it in a detailed way. Now if you want to explore these options you can go ahead and enable gallery labs. The previous version of gallery labs was a little different let me show you that. You can see here we had permanently delete option, we had a home layout reset option, data history is still available, file operation history is still available, media files in pending status was available on the previous version. We had an option to check the original files of edited image and video files and then if you want to clear it we could clear it using that option and a reorganize folders option which is also available now. So it was just on one page but then we have got the developer option on the my files labs within which we have got a couple of more options. So this is my files labs hidden on your one UI 8 on your galaxy device. I think you guys should check it out there are some useful features and I have just showed you how you can enable it if you are not able to enable it on your galaxy devices. Now I cannot guarantee you the availability of this my files labs on all the devices. Let me know if you have got this option on your device which device you are using and if you are able to enable my files labs drop a comment and while you do that be sure to subscribe to the channel don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to download our wallpaper application Volvers, the wallpaper that you see uh, on my home screen was just added a day ago and uh, there are some amazing collections available both premium and free, uh, free wallpapers and currently we are running an offer uh, there is 50% discount on lifetime membership you can grab it the offer is for limited period that's about it thanks for watching you guys take care and stay safe i'll see you in the next one soon cheers bye bye